All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a look at my uh, Postmates slash Uber Eats delivery setup. This is my Fido or Fido T1 cargo bike. And uh, I just simply put a uh, just a small plastic box on the back, which I keep everything dry. Uh, inside, I do carry an insulated bag, not a not a huge one, but it's definitely uh, it'll hold a 16-inch pizza sideways. And then I haul this thing around for my drinks, and I use these to wedge in case there's anything that's sliding around. And this is insulated as well, so if I like had uh, like Sundays in here, I put the hot food in here, and I put the cold food in here. Uh, and then yeah these do do a great job for wedging uh, I personally don't like to carry my my drinks in my box uh, on the back of this particular bike there is no suspension and so it just takes the brunt I will put the food back there but I do go slow uh, as far as my drinks go I mean I have a drink holder there uh, you know if it was a large drink <clears throat> and I do get uh, delivery sometimes of 40 ounce drinks and that's what this is specifically for is I always like to get a 40 ounce smoothie when I'm out for a ride too and it fits in there perfectly and then I'm using this thing here which is a it's basically a five gallon bucket stacker you can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever uh, for about four or five bucks and it's relatively deep I've just got it bungeed up here but that allows me to carry uh, three large drinks plus you know a giant 40 ounce and if I had a smaller drink it could go here it sort of gets in the way of the handlebars if it's too large so these will handle large all four of these so you know it does give me a bunch of uh, options as far as carrying drinks I don't like to take orders with drinks uh, but uh, sometimes you know you just don't have a choice uh, one of the other things is uh, if you're going to be running on this bike you can charge from the charge port on the bottom of the controller if you want to um, but I usually carry in my pocket I'll carry a a power pack and then I hook it through my belt loop and then that way when I get on and off the bike I can place this on the holder here and I'm still attached to it and if it comes loose it, it's not dragging the ground so that's been really handy uh, just to keep from screwing up your cords uh, what else on this thing? Oh, you will need a lock. Get a lock if you're going to be running food. Uh, and I've got, uh, I've been taking suggestions from some of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, Yogi Steve. I know he got this from, from Wilser, but uh, wedging these pool noodles in there has, has significantly dropped my uh, amount of spilled drinks since I've started using that. So thank you, Yogi Steve. Yeah, we just put the box on there, and then I've just got some bungees that just pull up on the front and the back, and and you can roll like that. Uh, the other thing that you will need is a lock, right? And don't cheap out. If you got, if your bike is worth sixteen hundred bucks, you don't want to get a dollar store lock. So this one's definitely not approved by the lock picking lawyer. Uh, he would approve of the cable, but probably not the U-Haul lock. I don't live in a high crime area, so. Uh, this seems to work pretty good for me. I can wrap it around pretty much anything and and then just lock it up. So, but it's really simple. If uh, if you feel like going for a ride, turn on your Uber Eats, turn on your Postmates. If you want to go to where they give you the offers, do it. If not, don't do it. That's the beauty of it. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope to see you on the road.